Hello, everyone. Hi, we're back. Welcome Hi. Back. Hi. We're back in Nona's kitchen. Okay, so who are you? Uh, uh, I'm Mama. <laughs> I'm Mama. I'm a Nona. Nice hat today. Thank you. We love Ms. it. Shana, you did a great job. Okay. So today we're going to be making chocolate bitset cookies, also known as Italian clove cookies or chocolate clove cookies. I am here today in Nona's kitchen because Nona hates making these. <laughs> and so I'm usually the one that makes them. However, we are in Nona's kitchen and Nona will be here and she is always in charge. Alrighty. And, um, okay, so let's go over all the ingredients right now. Okay, so we're here. I'll we start have, on this side. Well, let's start over there. Oh. Then this, we, there we have the wet. The wet, um, we have an egg, one, this, this is about half, makes about a half a dose, a half a, you know, half a batch. Okay. Um, at Christmas time, we was, uh, we do about four times this amount in a batch. Okay. Uh, but this is a nice amount for just a, a weekend, a quick kind of Can uh, you read off cookie. what each station has? Yep. So in our wet, we have uh, an, one egg, two tablespoons of olive oil. A quarter cup of melted Crisco, um, a, a one teaspoonful of vanilla, a half a cup of strong coffee. We like making espresso. Um, you can use an Italian roast, a French roast. Um, if you want to just use uh, your Keurig, you just make it, put it on the, the smallest setting uh, if you don't have an espresso maker. Okay. Um, and we have um, the teaspoon of vanilla and uh, three tablespoons of Hershey syrup chocolate syrup that's our, our wet ingredient okay moving on for our dry we have two cups of we use two cups of flour one cup of sugar a half a cup of cocoa <clears throat> a half a teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of cinnamon and two teaspoons full of uh, of cloves and can you just explain what this is again? Yes. So that is our um, what 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 we like to use instead of baking powder. One of these little envelopes, which I usually buy these on Amazon or an Italian specialty market. Okay. Um, will one of these is is equivalent to um, using one teaspoonful of baking powder? So I had actually used a half, and that's in here. So, because this, this this recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, moving on. Um, we will need to add some uh, chocolate chips, about a half a bag of chocolate chips. So you can use your Nestle's. We just happen to have these. These are Luciana's vegan, um, no sugar added. You can use <laughs> dark chocolate, milk chocolate, semi -sweet. semi sweet. Yeah. So we just need about a half a bag. Okay. Um, and some. Uh, roasted almonds. You can buy them already done like we do at Trader Joe's or you can roast your own almonds. And then we chopped them like you guys saw one time before. Yep. With so the I chopped them uh, and, and that calls for um, uh, one and a half, uh, we like to put in one and a half cups of chopped um, roasted almonds. Okay. Um, so this, this should say and one then and a half. This is for the frosting. Right? Yes, and then I we uh, so through the years when we fr when we came up with a frosting, uh, this was kind of my my thing was to actually dip them in chocolate. This needs to say one and a half cups of chopped almonds. Okay. I, 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 when I typed it up, I didn't put. I, it's not a half a cup. It's one and a half. Okay. Well, I'll show that after. Okay. So we actually already made some. Well. T yeah. Today. Yeah, so I, and this is what they're gonna be looking like. Okay. So that is the finished product, but we're gonna make them from scratch right now so you guys can see that. So, uh, Nona's gonna stop. We need one egg. <laughs> Two tablespoons of olive oil. You need two tablespoons of olive oil. You're confused in your own kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> got everything ready, look. Yeah, we, we really everything. prepared it. So, we have um, a handful of people on. Can we say hi again? Hi. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. Hi, people. Um, 
just a variety of people. Oh, hi, people. <laughs> Where I, need, I need the recipe. I've had a great day. Okay, so, on you, so you put the egg and you put the olive oil. And you I'm look confused. The half a cup of strong coffee. Yeah, so you need a half you, a cup. You're melting the crystal now? Yep, yeah, so it's a half a cup of, of the strong coffee. We made espresso earlier. Yep, there it is. Good. This is an Italian espresso maker. I brought it from Italy 50 years ago. <laughs> wow. And you one teaspoon. Love the sweatshirt, Mama. I wore it. I wore it in. In on because you, you. She goes. What did you say earlier? Like, oh my God, am I going to be on the Harvard TV? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Show up, show Whatever that pride, is. My Harvard pride. <laughs> Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. <clears throat> and you need three tablespoons of oh, that, syrup. that Hershey syrup. It's always like the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So how's your day going so far? It's one. <laughs> My day's going really good. You want to know why? Why? Because I poured myself a glass of wine. Wow. Oh. The life. I had a long, and three. long day today. Three. Good. <laughs> and then we have that quarter cup of melted Crisco or Sprite. Or however, we, I like using Crisco just because it's easy to find. Okay. All right, wow. and then we're gonna mix that all. <clears throat> that looks really interesting. We started with all the liquid, and then we go on the dry. Uh huh. So while Nona's mixing that up, we're gonna use two cups of flour and whatever flour you like. We just, you know, these if during these times we get whatever we. Yeah, have. someone said that she was surprised you found it. What? The flour. flour? Yeah. I. Know. I uh, and I like this kind. I hang out the flour organic is my favorite, but I will use whatever. Or four cups. Yep. Um, so two cups and then one cup of sugar. You guys, they're really so good. Like, oh my gosh. They're so good. I ate one. They're really good. We need a, a half a cup of cocoa. Um, I use, I use um, Hershey's cocoa. I can't even um, take that seriously. Uh, any unsweetened cocoa, if you have a, a particular favorite brand. Okay. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I'm and i not picky. Okay. Um, I've gotten this one right here. This is from Whole Foods. Yeah, do you like? I just need a little bit more. That's fine. I'm just going to pour it in. See, it's a... Darker. Nice and dark. Okay, half a cup. Cool. And then we're gonna use um, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Like I said, we like using this, but you can certainly use your regular baking powder that you normally use in just a half a teaspoon. Okay. And one teaspoon full of cinnamon. That's been kind of hard to find, but we did find it. This is the end of one. And then two teaspoons full of cloves. It is such a great flavor. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're not a clove person, you can certainly use less. If you like it, you can use more. This becomes kind of like your own recipe. Some people like to add um, some uh, orange zest in these cookies. I would suggest that you wanted to do that to add it to your wet. Um, and um, those, a lot of recipes do call for that orange, je orange zest. I kind of came up with this recipe because I was um, making them and I could never find the right recipe that I truly loved. And you know, with Italian uh, moms and aunts, it was never a true, oh, one cup of this, one cup of this. It was like a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and I could never get them to be exactly how I wanted them to be. So I decided to kind of experiment, 
and do my own. And uh, Luciana absolutely loves these um, cookies. Um, they just always worked out that uh, more of a chocolatey coffee taste. Uh, yeah, again, you can ta really taste the coffee in them. <clears throat> so we're going to start working with this dough. Um, known as, it, it, it's, it's, at the end result, is, it should be a little sticky and it needs to be a little um, hard to work with. So we're gonna, uh, Nona's the best at kneading. So you go, Nona. Go, Nona, go. Do it. Good. What's the problem? Good. So sometimes if you think that the dough is going to be a little bit too too tough to work with, you can add a little bit more coffee just for a little bit more um, uh, wetness. You know, just you, you kind of have to play around with it. But this is a pretty good recipe that with the amounts that we uh, described, because um, we uh, we've kind of been playing around with it for a while. So, but that looks like a good dough, Anna. It does. Yeah. So that looks like it, it, it came out at a good. It came out just just right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You can really smell it. it smells yep. so good. Oh my. Oh. While Nona's kneading, I'm gonna have a little sip of wine. <laughs> Drinking on the job, I see. My day off, I said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So at this point here, we add in these, um, our last ingredients. And again, we, we use about a half a bag of, of, of your chocolate chips. So if you, ha if you had uh, the Nestle, or, it comes down to about three quarters of a cup, I'm gonna say. Yeah, about three quarters of a cup. And you just kind of knead those, knead those in as, as, um, as you can. It gets a little harder to work with at that point, but um, whenever you're adding these big, if you do big dose, it's really yeah. when you when you make at Christmas time. So this was two cups of coffee at Christmas time. I do uh, two cups of flour. I usually use eight cups of flour when I make my dough, my my batch for for Christmas, and it's pretty hard to work with. Um, Unless you don't have a dough machine. Yeah, you can use a, you can use a food uh, not a food processor. Yeah, the this mixer. The, yeah, like a, a the mixer. mixer. Um, so next is we chopped up um, our our dry roasted almonds. I got about a cup and a half. I got a cup and a half. We find them. And, and the again, this is to your preference. You can um, you can chop them however you like. We li I like to make a mixture. So some of them are real small, then there's some big pieces. I like that because it, it, when you take a bite of the cookie, it makes different um, it makes different um, textures. Oh, they smell, they smell heaven. It smells so good. Uh, <laughs> oh, I smell the clothes. It smells good. They do, they smell like clothes. Uh, we like adding a lot of nuts in our cookies. Again, you can, you can adjust it to however you like, but this is a good, a good amount that I like. These have absorbing the dough, you know? Yeah, and you just kind of have to knead it. Um, and get it, uh, get them as mixed as well as possible. Go, Nona, go. I'm trying, I'm trying. You're good job. <laughs> You're so strong. And what's next? Can you prep us? So Almost. now we're gonna make we're gonna roll out um, one inch logs. Okay. We're try to roll out around one inch log, and um, uh, this batch would probably make around four logs. Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm um, and uh, so you take a quarter of this. Okay, Mama. Trash. Okay. Give them the last. Uh, oh, it feels great. Feel good, huh? Yeah, it feels great. Perfect. So. We run, we, we do around a, a, a quarter of that and we, we roll it onto the board. 
Sometimes it gets a little hard because there's a lot of uh, nuts in here and chocolate chips. So sometimes it's a little hard opening them up. It opens up on its <clears throat> and it's a little hard to, to get them to uh, roll. So you just do the best you can and squishing them down. And I'm putting all the nuts inside of the dough, yeah? Making about a and one so inch log. Cool. It's good, huh? What do you Jeff? mean one inch? It's Perfect. like one inch in diameter. Oh. So it's... Um, I was going to say, yeah. that ain't one inch. That one inch long. <laughs> that one inch in diameter. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I'm trying to get all of the chocolate little, chip. A little hard to, to work with. Really? Well, because there's a lot of nuts in it, so rolling it doesn't yeah. help. You'll feel, feel the actual empty um, spaces. Spaces, yeah. So once that's done, we cut them into the diagonal. Once we have the log where we we feel is uh, around one inch, um, that first piece is always a little off, but um, we're going to be cutting them on the diagonal. And sometimes you're cutting into the nut. They don't always look as pretty, but they all taste the same. They're so good. And you place them, I usually put them on a, an ungreased baking dish. Uh, because of the Crisco and the oil that's in there, you just don't need to grease the pan. Okay. Um, and we... <clears throat> We line them up on the baking dish. One chocolate chip, right? Another chocolate chip. <laughs> we got them all. Wow. These don't need to be, um, uh, you know, anywhere. They don't. They don't grow. They don't all, grow. Yeah. So you can space them out. Okay, and we can. Um, we we start to put them uh, in the oven. Cool. We're gonna bake them at 350. Okay. For 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, and sometimes when you put them in the oven, you, you don't think that they're um, actually done when they come out, because they do need some time to cool. So we're gonna bake these at 350 for 10 minutes. Put it in the oven. And when they come out, they're gonna look like that. Wow, already done. Look at that. <laughs> How convenient, you guys. So this is what they look like when they're done. And they they basically look the same. They, um, you have to move them with a spatula. Once they're, once they're cooled off, you can move them with a spatula. They have a nice um, uh, crunchiness to them, but they're still kind of soft. Okay. Um, but you have to give them time to cool off. Co cool them off completely. These have been sitting for how many hours? Uh, for your metal. Oh, okay. The, uh, these? Yeah. Um, I made them earlier this morning. Uh, okay. I made a batch earlier this morning. All right. So I had uh, taken them out of the oven, let them cool completely, um, and, uh, and then once they're cooled, then you can frost them. Okay. As for the frosting, I came up with this on my own because every time I would make frosting, it's a big thing with the Italian... Women, moms, <laughs> aunts. Your, the, the traditional Italian frosting is made with confectionery sugar, espresso. Okay, and sometimes the sh once once it's once it's frosted, it would turn. It'd be every, you would see that I would they would turn like a, 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 a whitish color, and it's supposed to be brown in color. But to get that consistency exact, I would bring them to a party, and you could see them all whispering <laughs> and say. Her frosting turned. Yeah. Too bad, because they taste good when her frosting turned. So I got sick of doing that, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna make my own thing. And I started to put them in melting chocolates. Um, through the years, I found the Giardelli um, dark chocolates. Yep. And I, um, one bag will make this whole batch. Okay. So I have a, I have, a um, I have some of these chocolates that I like to melt. Um, I usually, you know, you can obviously follow the directions that are on the bag. Um, I put them in for a minute, stir, and I put them in 
for another minute and stir and see depending on the how uh, your your microwave works. How you doing over here? I'm doing. I'm getting ready to do another baking for Mama. Yeah, you make you make the check it out. That is one QC. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're ordering her around, huh? In her own kitchen. Yeah, because in the kitchen. <laughs> You're making the best one. I like that. Okay. Anything we should talk about now? Uh, these. These are these are great to make for the holidays. They're great to give as gifts. We often you'll you'll find these cookies mixed with some other Italian traditional cookies, um, and we will um, put them in these platters with, with cellophane wrap and big bows on them. I'm sure you've all seen those at some point. Um, so I melted the chocolate. I put it in about a minute, and I'm stirring it. Um, if it needs a few more seconds, uh, it looks like it might need just a few more sec seconds, I will add it back in. Again, just if you follow the directions on the, um, on the package. There you go. Okay, so good I job. Thank you. This is very good, so tasty. Gotta be careful sometimes it open up a little bit the yeah. nuts. So I will line I lined a, a, a pan with some um, parchment paper or wax paper and I grab the cookies, I dip them in, pull them up. Oh my them, god, this is the best part. Give them a nice little coating. I can't look. Frosting. It's so good. I wish the lighting in here was a little bit better. Is it on the highest? So once I do this whole tray, again, it's just a the quick dipping. And this one, this just the top. Yeah, and this frosting does not turn. <laughs> so yes. that's what I, I know, that's why I always loved it. Are you gonna be critical of me okay. if I try to bake something? Absolutely. Yep. Right, until you get it. Just how we roll. Just how we roll. Those Italians. But I love this gotta recipe, love them. the way nice to make it. Like, you know, you can make two or three batches near the holidays. You can double up. So once we have them all um, frosted, I put them in the freezer. To wow, set you the guys. Chocolate. Look at this. So we, we put it in the freezer to set. Sometimes they sprinkle the gold to fit. Yeah. At this point, if you wanted to put some sprinkles, make them a little bit more colorful, you can certainly do that. But well, we, got, we have to get that chocolate to set. Remember, it's a melting chocolate. Okay. So we're going to put it in the freezer. And they will come out like that. Wow. Oh, my gosh, you guys. They're done. Oh, my God. Hot. <laughs> it was what so cold. This is what they will look like when you take them out of the freezer. Yum. Awesome. We got, we made the, like a four logs. One, two, three, two. She's still going over here. They're ready. They need to be cut by mama. Because <laughs> I got the nuts in between. Mm. So you can place them nicely on a plate. Sometimes we add some confetti, uh, Jordan confetti. almonds. Some Jordan almonds um, or some Hershey Kisses. Um, wrap them up in cellophane and give them out as gifts. I'm bringing some to Elaine this Saturday <laughs> yeah. and to Andre. Awesome.
That's great. Okay. And that's it. That's our that's our chocolate pizzettes. That's it, you guys. Our chocolate clove cookies. The ingredients. <laughs> you want to take a picture of the recipe? Um. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um. One and a half cups of chopped almonds. Wait. Do you mind holding it? Does it have a glare? Yeah. They can screenshot this, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna post this in the comments as well. Um, but yeah, this is it, you guys. So, bye. Enjoy. Bye. Let's have some coffee in the morning. Well, Everybody they don't have them, but. Over. We can have a nice. <laughs> yeah, when this is ridiculous, this is done. We yeah. can have a nice, yeah. a nice um, Sunday dinner with chocolate bits and cookies. Okay, you guys. Bye, stay well. Zoom it up, zoom it up. I already had a photo shoot with them. <laughs> Bye, stay well. Thank you guys for watching.